Pope Francis, we must be the voice for persecuted. We use our own in third party cookies to improve your user experience. By continuing to browse, we understand that you accept their use. You can get more information on our cookies policy. You are using an outdated browser in order to deliver the greatest experience to our visitors. We use cutting edge web development techniques that require a modern browser. To view this page, please use Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Internet Explorer 11 or greater the Pope and the Catholicos of the Assyrian Church of the East began their meeting with this affectionate greeting. The Assyrian Church of the East headquarters is in Iraq. We share the great suffering resulting from the tragic situation endured by so many of our brothers and sisters in the Middle East who are victims of violence and frequently forced to leave the lands in which they have always lived. The Pope spoke about the ecumenism of blood. He assured that the suffering of these persecuted Christians offers a testimony of unity. Afterwards came the exchange of gifts. The Patriarch gave this Assyrian cross to Pope Francis. The Pope gave him this olive tree of peace. They signed a joint declaration to advance the path of unity and, above all, advocate respect for the Christians of the region. Furthermore, the Pope and the Catholicos Assyrian Church insisted that there cannot be a Middle East without Christians. They have the right to live in a safe and peaceful environment, especially those who want to return to their homes.